Okay guys, my previous video, I explained to you my top seven tips for the forehand preparation. And today I wanna give you my top five tips for the backhand preparation. Okay, preparation meaning everything that needs to happen before you contact the ball. Okay, some of the tips will be mistakes you're making and how to fix them. But this is the top five um, tips and mistakes that I often have to give my players and see that they really need work with. The first one is uh, they double clutching. What do I mean by that is they, they go up, down, down, hit. Okay, it feels nice, there's a lot of rhythm, it feels like there's rhythm, but it takes a lot of time, okay? Uh, Kyrgios does this a little bit. Um, some of the pros, they do do it, but then your timing has to be perfect, okay? The recommendation, or what I recommend is start with the racket up, rotate, and then you can just drop into it automatically. Racket up, drop into it automatically, and it all happens together, okay? So be careful of too many movements, when you swing your backhand, although it feels nice, under pressure you're gonna lose time, you're gonna lose timing, and you're gonna miss shots you don't wanna miss. Remember, the less you do, the less can go wrong. So rack it up, rotate the shoulders, drop, hit. Tip number two, guys, leading into, uh, leading from my first one, obviously, so you want the, the tip of the racket head up, okay? The reason why you want the tip of the racket head up because then automatically it drops and there's momentum for you, okay? So now that your racket head's up, how far do you turn, okay? To put on, this, on the double-handed backhand, perf if, if I'm facing forward, the perfect position for you to stop turning is back fence. So once the tip of the racket is to the back fence, that's enough. What many players do, I'll show you from this way. What many players do is they go, and then they go even more. I often say it's the chicken wing. So now what happens when you go too far with the back end, double handed back end turn, you start swinging around it. So make sure left elbow in front of your, your, your belly at all times. From there you rotate the shoulders, that's enough. Now you drop and hit, be very careful of the chicken wing, otherwise you can't hit through the ball. Next tip for you champion is, a lot of players think they t they're actually turning but they're not. What they're doing is they're turning around the body with the arms, so the arms are doing all the movement and they don't understand why there's no power, why they're slapping it. Remember, once you're in ready position here, you turn the shoulders, not the arms. So I rotate, coil the upper body. If you do a proper turn, if you do a proper turn on a double-handed back end, your right shoulder should be dipping a little bit. So if I'm hitting that way, I turn, my right shoulder should be dipping a little bit. That means that I'm turning with my shoulders, okay? So don't turn with the arms. Big shoulder turn, from there you can dip and hit. Another tip that I have to talk about guys, so if this is your double handed back end grip, okay, I, I see too many players on their left hand, on their left hand with the double handed back end. This is the correct grip, this is the eastern grip, this is where you'll be the strongest. They are there, okay. So what's happening is they hit the ball like this, they're slapping, they're trying to compensate, trying to compensate because this hand is weak. Full western grip on your left hand will not work on the double handed backhand. Bring it up to eastern, now you're a lot stronger, okay? If my left hand is eastern grip, this hand comes in, now I'm strong. Okay, Djokovic will always be the perfect example of a double handed backhand grip. So, very important tip, left hand eastern. All right, my champions, you can't get away with um, talking about movement when it comes to technique, okay? So this second last tip for you on the, on the backhand preparation is, especially on the double-handed backhand, I see, too, I see too many players either being straight up like this, they're stuck with the legs and they lose balance, or they're stepping way too far across, very weak. Remember, when you're stepping across, you can't swing, okay? It's okay to step with your right leg, but please make sure you step out and in, okay? The best movement for a double-handed backhand. I'm um, not sure if you remember Agassi, but he's, he, there's even some pictures on the internet of him like this, and now he's just gonna fall into the ball and hit, okay? That's how much he was preparing with the left leg, and then he was setting up to step in, hit. So left leg out, in.
All right, guys, last step for you on the double-handed backhand preparation. Uh, quite a common one, that's why it's in my favorites. Uh, players have their grips, and because they try and they want more control, they don't realize it, but the left hand goes too high up. They end up hitting the ball like this. The problem with this is the racket becomes shorter than it should have been. Okay, so you're losing out on swing. Uh, you're losing out on momentum because the racket is now shorter in your hand, so you're losing out on power as well. Please, these hands need to touch. You have the correct grip, which we've touched on, but make sure the hands are touching, okay? I don't want to see this, this. Make sure the hands are touching. Very, very important tip, okay? And then lastly, guys, I really want you guys to subscribe to my channel um, because I'm bringing out two videos every single week, free value coming at you. I really want you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, that way you're helping me uh, with my algorithms to, to reach more people. I have so many of you players saying that these tips are helping you and that really keeps me motivated. Um, also, if you subscribe, then you'll be reminded every week with my two to three videos coming out. And so you won't miss a beat. See you next time.